Welcome back to part two of my attempt to create a peacock using a flip cup hole. Um, so I'm just touching this to get um, some of the cells created. I forgot to mention in the first video that I added silicone oil to everything apart from the white. Um, and that should mean that the white stays um, pretty solid, but allows the, the other colours to, um, to pop and create those bubbles. So I'm just giving this a real good torch first and then we will give that a tilt so right so here we are this is me now just tilting and stretching that paint all over the canvas this isn't in real time um i actually sped the camera up so um this is actually quite a slow very gentle careful process because you don't want to tilt it too fast otherwise you're going to break up all of those cells um, and be left with just a muddy mess so you actually want to tilt it quite slowly uh, and then the cells are just going to grow quite gradually added some extra turquoise in at the base there for a bit of negative space that will be where once it's dry i add in the peacock's features um, so that will be where the, the body um starts but you can see already how the cells have grown there beautifully uh, i decided that i wanted to add in a bit of extra depth at this point so um i got out my trusty straw and i'm just creating um a very textured effect using the straw just to give that impression of feathers um, it's quite a therapeutic process um and you can see the colours coming through on the under layers as I'm blowing with that straw there. As I mentioned in my first video, this is very much an experimental piece. I've never tried this technique before. I've never seen this technique done anywhere um, by anybody else before. Um, so this is uh, quite new and exciting territory. There we go. I'm almost done with the straw. And there we have it so far. So um, as you've just seen me blowing with the straw there, I was blowing very, very short um, bursts of air to create this kind of textured, feathery kind of pattern here. And I've left this area blank um, and turquoise down here because once dry, this is where I will then create the body and the head um, of the peacock rising through over the top. So come back for part three um, to watch me do that once it's dry. Bye.